I know this community is suffering. I know they're reeling. I know parents have a lot of questions. Police and prosecutors address the case tearing a Wayne County community. Good evening. A news conference gave us more insight into the charges several teens now face after being accused of sexually abusing a 14 year old boy in the Clyde Savannah High School boys locker room. Adam Chodak has the details. The first thing we learned about this incident last week was that it was serious enough to abruptly end the season of Clyde Savannah's varsity football team. This week we learned it's serious enough to possibly send several students to prison. I didn't think that my school was like that. Joseph and Desiree Gazzino, brother and sister, know the four teenagers accused in taking part in the sexual assault of a 14-year-old boy in the Clyde Savannah High School locker room. I don't hear people talk about it much. I just zone out and mind my own business. This week, they, like everyone else, learned three of the teenagers between 15 and 17 years old have been charged with sexual abuse, a felony, plus hazing and forcible touching. Another student is charged with unlawful surveillance. This after they heard a video of the incident getting shared online. They should get held responsible for their actions. I hope that they get punished for their actions and that they, I hope that they never do it again. Today at a news conference, Assistant District Attorney Christine Callanan says... Today at a news conference, Assistant District Attorney Christine Callanan said releasing details of the case could damage their effort to seek justice. And I don't think anyone standing up here misses that there is that larger picture and that there are those larger questions. This is a small, tight-knit community. That football team is having an amazing season. A lot of things came to an end very quickly, and there's been limited information. Meanwhile, Joseph and Desiree's mother says this incident reveals a rampant problem in the school district. I just want something at the school to be done about the bullying. My kids have been bullied and they don't do nothing about it. What type of punishment these teenagers could receive if convicted will be partly determined by how they're labeled in youth court, youthful offender or juvenile offender. But the ADA says prison remains a possibility. What does not remain a possibility because of the new raise the age law, this according to the ADA, is the teenagers being tried as adults. Reporting from Wayne County, Adam Chodak back to you. All right, Adam, thank you. The teens charged are due back in court next week.